You are my sunshine, my only sunshine. You make me happy when skies are gray. I don't know the rest of the song, but whatever. Uh, but let's think about this. So a ray, right? Da, 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 da. Sun produces rays of sunshine. Looks something like that, right? And then here is, say, the earth, da, 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 da. Well, it's important for us to understand something that um, comes out with, you know, actually rays of sunshine goes all out. But it's important for you to look at, why do we call it a ray of sunshine? Why don't we call it a line of sunshine, sunshine or a segment of sunshine? Well, a couple things. Remember, a line is a path that contains no end, right? It goes infinitely in both directions. Uh, a segment is a path that does have two ends, but again, has the same properties of the line where it has no thickness and it is uh, made up of infinite many points. Well, a segment of sunshine means that it would stop at the Earth and it would stop at the sun. Well, and that's not true because we know that the sun's rays, if they, you know, if they're not penetrating the Earth, they still continue on and on and on into that, into uh, space. But in the other respect, if you had a line of sunshine, well, there's really kind of be no end point, you know, no point for where it's coming from. That means there really would be no basis of it. It's having sunshine going in both uh, directions, which it does go in both directions, but there's a starting point, and that is like the sun's core is what's giving everything out. So that's what we're gonna call a ray of sunshine. A ray is kind of like a, a mix between a segment and a line. So to get over this horrible drawing, when I'm talking about a line, remember a line has no end. A segment has two ends. So a ray is going to be when we have a point that we're gonna end there, saying, hey, you know, here's gonna be the start or the end, I wanna, here's this point, but then it, I want it to continue infinitely in the other direction, all right? So this is a line and it still can be your two points, PK, PK, and PK. This is a segment, and this is what we call a ray. As you could say, it starts at the sun, but then contains infinitely out in other directions. Again, a ray is contained of infinite many points, and it has no thickness. Now, how we want to write a ray is when writing a ray, we're going to want to start on this point, um, you're going to want to write a, a line with an arrow in one direction. All right? And it's also important for when writing a ray that we want to start with our endpoint. Here, it doesn't, we had two endpoints, so it doesn't matter which endpoint we use. Or a line, it goes in both directions, so it doesn't matter uh, you know, which order you do. But when you're talking about a ray, we like to write the endpoint first and then the point that it's uh, in directions going infinitely towards as your next point. So that is how I would write a ray and hopefully gave you that good explanation. If you have any questions, please comment down below. Thanks.